welcome to our channel so today we'll be discussing about chromatography and we will solve a numerical problem that is from the exam paper of 2019-20 from kingston university it is the numerical and you are asked to find out the values of average number of plates average plate height capacity factor partition coefficient selectivity factor and column resolution and i will explain all this data when i am going to solve uh, these values like first I will I'm going to solve the average number of plates and then I will explain that which values you have to use from this numerical data so for average plates you have to use 2.60 millimeter and 4.10 millimeter and you will find the average plate uh, uh, average number of plates in the column using the width and how we're going to solve I will let you know in a while so for the first case you are given with the peak width of plate a and the compound a and compound b that is 2.60 millimeter and in centimeter that becomes 0 0.26 and for the b you are given uh, with the peak width 4.10 centimeter that is 4. Point, this is 4.10 uh, millimeter and when you change it that becomes 0 0.41 centimeter and in minutes you have to divide it with the recorder speed the recorder speed given in the numerical is 0 0.5 so when you divide 0 0.26 with 0 0.5 you will get 0 0.52 and for b 0 0.41 divided by 0 0.5 that becomes 0 0.82 so we have to change the unit like this is given in the centimeter and to find out in the minutes you will just divide it with the recorder speed that is given in the numerical data that is 0 0.5 so we'll get two values 0 0.52 and 0 0.82 so to solve the average number of plates or the number of plates in the column number to find out the number of plates we are given with the formula n is equal to 16 into tr over w and whole square so tr is the retention time and you are given with two steroids a and b for a the retention time is 4.60 minutes and uh, width we have just find out that is 0.52 minutes and for b the retention time is 6. 80 minutes and the width we have just find out that is 0 0.82 minutes so in order to find out the number of plates we will just use this formula for na the retention time or tr is 4.6 divided by 0 0.52 we will get 1252.07 and for nb we will use the same formula you will get 1100.29 so this is the number of plate for the compound a this is the number of plate for b so to get the average number of plates you will uh, add number of plates of the compound a b divided by 2 you will get this value 1176.1 and that's the average number of plates and that's the answer to your first question then we have to find average plate height in centimeter so the formula to calculate average plate height is l over n that's the column length and that's the average number of plates we have just calculated the average number of plates length of the column is mentioned in the question that is 23.6 divided by 1176.18 you will get the average plate height that is 0 0.02 centimeter and we will move on to the third question that is the capacity factor for each peak so to find out the capacity factor for each peak you have to use the formula tr minus tm over tm and that's the retention time for each of the component that's the retention time for Unilluted species and uh, is given in the question and that is uh, 2.1 minute that's the retention time for un uh, as you can say that unretained species so there are two components a and b you have to use it separately t a is the retention time of a that's the retention time for unretained species and 4.6 minus 2.1 over 2.1 that become 1.19 and in the similar cases that's the retention time for the component b then unretained species and you will get the value kb that is 2.23 and that's the capacity factor for a and capacity factor for b that's for like we can say peak one that's for peak two so in order to find out the partition coefficient you have to multiply ka that you have find out in the in the previous question the capacity factor with this factor and this like 0 0.5 is the mobile phase flow rate mentioned in the question uh, 21 
is the unretained species that's the elution of the unretained species and 0 0.152 is the volume of the stationary phase that is mentioned in the question so you have to multiply capacity factor with these values and you will get the partition coefficient so that's the simple like you have to check uh, i will again repeat that 0 0.5 is the mobile phase flow rate and that's the unretained species uh, that's 2.10 minute and 0 0.152 is the volume of the stationary phase and multiply this factor with the capacity factor you will get the partition coefficient that in case of a is 8.2 and in case of B, that is 15.5. And in the next question, they have asked you to find out the selectivity factor. That's simple. You have to just divide KB by K. That's 15.5 divided by 8.2. That become 1.88. And then at last, we have to find out the column resolution. So in order to find out the resolution, that it's 2 into TRP minus TRA over WB plus WA. So what is TRB? That's the retention time for the component B. That's the retention time for component A. That's the width for the component B. Then that's the peak width for component A. And we have find out in the first question uh, WB and WA that is 0 0.82 in case of B and 0 0.52 in case of A. And 6.80 that is mentioned in the question. 4.60 is also mentioned in the question. And you will just calculate this value. So the resolution becomes 3.28 that's the last question still if you have any question regarding this numerical you can ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching